اس میں کہ آپ کا گھر نہیں ہے جہاں سے آپ کہیں بھی جا سکتے ہیں یہاں سے آپ کہیں نہیں جا سکتے گاڈ کو The nurse stood at the door, looking at two interlocked bodies. For a second, she could not distinguish the visitor from the patient, the man who was left from the man who had gone. I have a feeling that by, by stupid mistakes or by sheer cruelty or by, indi- by indifference, uh, we injure others, we ignore certain things of others. So what is already there is slowly being corroded and disrupted. I never believe that some communion can be established by a certain understanding. I start from the other end, that it is already there. that this connectedness is already present. Only by our own actions we disrupt it and make each other's life hell to one another. And this is, this is perhaps a source of a greater remorse to me as a writer than taking the fact of alienation as something for granted, as something which is historically given. I feel quite at peace with myself in this room. Actually, I feel, whenever I feel so nervous and jittery when I go out, it is a great uh, source of comfort to me that I, am, I will be again coming back uh, to my familiar surroundings. Nirmal Varma is to some extent an outsider. Because of his long stay in Europe, and he himself has become to some extent a stranger to his own society, to the environment. So I think that a sort of loneliness is inbuilt in his personality, in mentality and his creative process. You see, I went to uh, Czechoslovakia in 59 when it was a very stiff and a very Stalinistic, disciplined, authoritarian, regimented regime. And slowly it began to melt. Uh, things began to move and there was a much greater degree of relaxation in the atmosphere. And I thought that this would be the first socialist country with a very uh, humanistic and uh, socialistic uh, and uh, liberal tradition uh, uh, in it. And so when the Russian armies came in 68, I was not there actually, I was on holiday in London. I heard the news and I, uh, I thought that again history has taken a turn and um, I particularly felt very deeply about my Czech friends who thought that they have come out of a dark tunnel and once again going into a darkness of the time. History therefore has been very close to me, not directly in my writings, but as a person living in the 20th century exposed to uh, the events in my country and abroad. I very personally also feel that Uh, like astrology, history has something very deeply personal in our lives. I don't think that history, historical events have nothing to do with us, even though I may not be participating in a particular historical event, uh, the, the rise of Hitler and Stalin and uh, certain movements, the communist parties, they have, they, 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 in the 20th century they do make inroads in the individual, very private lives of uh, people. So sometimes when people ask me about the social utility of my stories, I say, well, it is, it is precisely that whether what is happening in the broad daylight and what is being printed in the newspapers, whether it has a certain resonance and a parallel evocation in our private lives, which are the areas of silence which we are not able to articulate. And if a writer is able to capture that parallel consciousness within his fiction. I think he has done something 
of tremendous significance because that is not there in history books or in the newspapers. And this is one of the video, 1958, uh, it was done in Shimla. Nirmal and his brother Ram Kumar select a slide for the cover of the world elsewhere. Ram is also a major artist whose paintings echo the themes of Nirmal's writing. Nirmal has chosen many for his book covers. I think you can choose this one also, so I need to learn that. This one. Because maybe it isn't the same thing. Yes, yes. the moment when one decided not to live alone any longer. I mean, can anyone, can you put your finger on the point in time when you let the loneliness in you shift over to make room for another person? Like you made room for me on this bench a little earlier, and now I am sitting here talking to you as if I had known you for years. 